Hello everyone. I'm currently at Boiler Bay and enjoying myself at the moment. Doing my thing. <sighs> I was thinking about my channel and how hard I've worked to to put videos out and to you know make cool content and try to focus on teaching people something that maybe they didn't know giving them information and of course am I an outlaw yes am I a rebel yes do I think the establishment that all the politicians are criminals yes should they all choke on a cock yes and not for fun these people need to just anyway they all need to be in jail but my channel is supposed to be about my healing and my adventures and places I've gone and a lot of them are free for camping by the way and just maybe teach something you know because that was the, the point of this life for me was partly to be a teacher and to, you know make people happy and laugh and be silly and you know that's part of it if Saturday Night Live hadn't been such scummy douchebags I probably would have joined their, their shenanigans and had fun with that because I love writing skits but that wasn't gonna happen that was a long time ago but yeah there's there I mean I'm a funny guy really and it's been a little dark lately because it just it gets heavy the world got heavy Whew. Mm -hmm. we're in the Pisces I don't know it's like a Pisces retro season of Pisces and now we're in season of Aries Maybe that heats some stuff up. Not not be so emotional, maybe a little more passionate, which is good. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. I just think that if everybody that watches my videos were, were to share them videos, I might break this curse of my shadow banning. Because I've seen so many videos, I go back over my, my almost 400 videos, my back catalog, and I see some really awesome videos I really enjoyed making and they're funny and nobody has seen them. Zero views, it's like son of a bitch. It just hurts my heart, man. Hopefully someday, you know, I'd like to think that I'm still around when, when people can, so they can at least say, you know, thank you to help me or whatever. Because that's the point is for you to love yourself. Self-love, self-help. I mean, they, they get a little long-winded in these big old thick books and you got these guys on, on, is it Tad or Todd or whatever that fucking thing is where, where they're all, um, you know, doing their little motivational speeches and stuff. I don't know. That smacks of narcissism. I'm trying to do videos, but it's just, this is part of my therapy too, so it's not like, you know, I wasn't expecting to, you know, blow up the internet or nothing, but it'd be nice to get out there and have help to heal people that are going through the dark night and been through it. And are, you know, the age of Aquarius has awoken a lot of people. And those that haven't been awoken probably are not going to wake up. And they're probably just karmics running around like little atoms hitting on each other and just doing their job, but you know, to destroy and to cause chaos and confusion. But the rest of us need to focus on ourselves and to heal and to raise our vibrations. You know, it's an interesting dynamics. You have, it's like two realities. You have two different sets of people, people that are very... Yeah, low, very just toxic and angry or pissed off and just, you know, I don't know, judgmental. And, and you have those who are just in, looking at themselves, looking in and trying to focus on themselves and be happy and fix their world in any way they can. Those are the awakened. Those are the high vibration. And there's light workers out there working, doing their thing. And that's important to, you know, voices on the internet, voices on YouTube. A lot of them are readers, a lot of them are tarot readers and channelers and you know, your spirits guides are with you and when I talk about my spirit guides and stuff like that, these are your ancestors that are passed, your you know, family members that loved you that were past that are rooting for you. It's like a council. They get together and they sit there and they root for you and they talk about how they can help you and protect you. It's kind of a beautiful thing. I like seeing my grandma, my grandmother is sitting at the head of that. But anyway I want you to have a wonderful day and live in light and watch some comedies I love comedies blazing saddles is amazingly fun comedy 
Watch stuff like that. Oh my god, there's a bald eagle out there. That's so awesome. Yeah, nice. I'm just looking at a bald eagle flying around. <sighs> anyway, have a wonderful day. So will I. And maybe you can see it out there in the distance flying around.